Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to day two of the E3 Snarkathon with the Microsoft Conference. I wonder what we're looking at here. Any guesses? Anyone? Anybody? At least it can't be CNC Mobile, right? Right, guys? You remember yesterday? Remember? No. No one. Nobody wants to remember. No one. Could it be like a, a Halo thing? Oh, oh my goodness. I mean, Halo 5 Guardians like came out three years ago. I mean, I thought we were up for a new game, but oh my gosh. I don't know if I can contain my feels. The slip space engine. Doesn't that feel a little dirty? Just a little. <laughs> All y'all were paid. All of you. Paid. Overtime pay. Am I right? Join Master Chief on his greatest adventure yet to save humanity. We are now at a moment of exceptional creativity in gaming. We can't wait to show you what Creativity Unleashed looks so like. So creative is the word that he is using du jour, not like innovative, which is usually like the EA or the Ubisoft conference. So every time that word, you know, take a drink, not responsible for anything that happens to you, drink responsibly. I am not. Welcome to E3 2018. I'd like to personally thank everyone who's joining us from FanFest. Oh my gosh, FanFest, woo! Where all of us have an Xbox One X that's heavily discounted. percent of the proceeds from your FanFest tickets are going to Gamers Outreach. Okay, I guess I can't snark on that. Hospitals get to game with their friends in their favorite worlds. It's a great cause. That's what I appreciate most about gaming. Gaming brings us together. Gaming connects us. It inspires our truest cooperation. It creates some of our fondest memories of competition and our deepest conversations about the stories within games. Most of all, gaming fosters real community. It reaches across age, ability, race, gender, and geography. This is why I've always believed, and will always believe, that gaming... In microtransactions. And what unifies us is our shared love of this art form. Of loot boxes. ...characters who captivate us. Not just for 10 hours, but for 10, 20, 30 years. Give us knack, give us death. ...that inspire the hero within us. Iconic worlds that are so richly imagined, we feel excitement in the air and danger on the seas. As gamers, we are at a momentous time where creative vision and cutting edge technology together are delivering the art form we love. The art firm we love would be a new Gears of War. Just saying. Hey, Cliffy B. Sorry. Love you. Mean it. From the UK to the Ukraine, from big studios to single developers, creators who seize the full power and potential of Xbox One 
to express their most daring vision for games. Today, we've curated a bold showcase of their best work and ours. 50 games. 18 titles with exclusivity and 15 world premieres. Some will be first-timers on this stage, and others will be first-timers on any stage. Okay, I'm back. What did I miss, guys? What did I miss? What did I miss? Was it anything good? ...what true artisans can create. Mind-blowing art, immersive sound effects, breathtaking worlds. So let's jump in. Exclusive. Exclusive. This should be good. Are we getting more Ori? More Ori, yes? Give us the beautiful pixels and all the feels. Like something more than a cut scene or a trailer. Just saying. I mean, I know that's what we expect. We expect them to show us the pretty stuff, but one day, my E3, hashtag my E3, will be nothing but gameplay. All the time. I don't care if it's a platformer. All the time. Gameplay. Give it to me. I mean, it, does this not remind you of something that we just saw yesterday at the EA conference? The ah singing? Maybe it's just me. The will of the wisps, you guys. You know, no O apostrophe for will o the wisps. No, will of. Uh, p -p 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 the wisps. Somebody right now is uh, not happy about this. Namely me. So you're awake. Looks like death is not your fate. Just oh man, Hanzo seems really pissed off. Oh, and there's my phone. I need to turn that off. I'm the professional streamer here, you guys. Professional. Some time has passed since I found you. Your master still lives. They'll soon make use of his bloodline. The limb you have lost will give way to something more useful. You'll learn to appreciate its worth. Huh. 
Hanzo mains, y'all. Hanzo mains. Clearly the new fable has really beefed up. Just, Just saying. You've experienced the tradition. If we want to save our country, we must release our anger in one night. On July 4th. Announcing the commencement of the first purge. Please welcome witness. From the best of games to the how, how it began. Our neighborhood is under siege. So this is what the developers of Dark Souls have been working on since making Dark Souls. Something else that we can rage quit about. Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Oh, it's great to see everybody again. You know, actually, the Bethesda event is a few hours right after this. No way, really? And uh, Phil said to me, I'm having a few friends over. Why don't you so why don't you come over and show us a game with a ninja dude with a prosthetic arm? Because characters with a prosthetic arm are all we care about right now. Am I right, Marvel? Am I right? We've had an incredible 16-year history. Those of you who saw Deadpool 2 know exactly what I'm talking about. It's all about the prosthetic arm. Now backwards compatible. And that goes all the way to bringing mods to consoles with Fallout 4. And now we are bringing the Fallout universe to Xbox Game Pass with Fallout 4 launching today. Oh, Fallout 4. Can you just, like, stop rubbing sand in the wound? Hey, Why? Since we're here, we <laughs> since we we're here. You an exclusive world premiere first look at Fallout 76. <laughs> yes, Fallout 76 is a prequel to all the other games. And it is our biggest one yet. It is four times the size of Fallout 4. Oh my gosh, are you a size queen? <laughs> no, never. Into an untamed and very different wasteland. So Bethesda, trying to get one back for yourself here? Oh man, I almost feel sorry for it. <sighs> Country roads take me home to a place I belong. West Virginia, Fallout 76. Anyone else with me? Years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion a Vault 76. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault Tech, but it was built by you. The sad part about this whole thing is I was born in West Virginia, so this is like kinda in the feels right now, but man, Fallout 4 was such a disappointment that I kinda don't even wanna give this a chance. West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountains, Shannon. Fun fact, um, yeah, dude who wrote the song, John Denver, not even born in West Virginia. I don't know if any of y'all knew that, but being from West Virginia, we are, like, born with this knowledge that, like, he just, like, sang the song. He wasn't even from there at all. Like, he had never even been there or visited before he sung the song, and, like, it blew up. So I'm just saying, it, it, it is the anthem, but it ain't right. It ain't right. Also, not enough roadkill at all. Like, even post-apocalyptic blah blah blah, still not enough, like, radiated roadkill for this to be West Virginia. Not enough moonshine stills. America itself. And there definitely need to be a lot more churches. And when I mean a lot, I mean, like, on every single corner. 
There needs to be one, at least one. And, and big establishments like that, oh, no, 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 they don't even exist. Nope, just only in Charleston, nowhere else. Promise. Trust me on this, you guys. World premiere. Spirit of my silence, I can hear you, but I'm afraid to be near you, and I don't know where to begin, and I don't know where to begin. I think we all know where this is going. Oh no. It's just me, Captain Spirit. This is Chris to the Flying Fortress. Have you spotted the Snowmancer? Not yet. Keep me posted. Chris, breakfast. Okay, Dad. You're drinking beer? I don't need a lecture for myself. But is it like a life is strange too or something? I don't know. They can't hmm. tell stories like you can. Can they? No way. Start the launch. I feel like the homey and angsty music deep inside my heart and and I, I don't know it just wants to make me make decisions that won't affect my actual life <sighs> I miss mom's smile. Me too. I miss things where I didn't have to like buy season one or season two or part three or DLC five of a continuing story that was going to pull at my heartstrings forever and have incredible voice acting and really campy music that made me feel like I came from Oregon and I'm just like denying my hipster self. Oh, the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. That's gonna do really well, you guys. Super well. Commander Jack on deck. Welcome to Crackdown 3. The only game built like me. Big, beautiful, like a skyscraper. Falling at your face. If you wanna play on my level, follow my lead. If you want to play on my level, you got to wait till next year because uh, we just showed this at last year's E3 and it still ain't out and we're delaying it. Why? Huh. What did we spend our funding on? Crap. Nama, nama, nama. Uh, Terry Crews, I had so much hope for you. Had so much hope for you. the most powerful weapon of all, me. And then I roll out like a boss. I can push off fools. Like a boss, that's that's still a thing, you guys. You know, 2000 and never, that, that's a thing. Man, these bad guys just won't quit. They got math, mad scientists, and mad a master plan. It's like you can tell this dialogue was recorded at least four or five years ago, and it's just now getting out there. That explains some of the delays and why it will not be at the top of meme culture when it actually does get released. It's a shame, too, because I really want this game to come out. I'm actually looking forward to Crackdown 3. But, man. Delays. We will take back our world from the scourge of the machine. Oh, yay, now you can pre-order another Nier Automata something or other. Something with more DLC. Yay. Controller heavy games with girls in short skirts. To mankind. Yeah, and that was the thing. That's a, that right there. You hear that slow clap? That... That, that's how much we put into that, right there. And the skies rained missiles, and the ground burned to- Is it just me, or is this like a rehash of last year's E3 Microsoft Xbox conference? Because I could have sworn we saw most of this last year already. 
Don't get me wrong. I love Metro, but I just I feel like we've seen some of this. Like, what 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 world is this where you can just show up and show the exact same things? You paid for this stage time, this conference time. You paid for this. <laughs> Our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. We will not falter. Let us steel ourselves against them. For this is our hour of glory. Amen. Let's move out, Artyom. With all that kind of money, they could have like sprung for the guy who like does Colossus's, you know, voice. And that would have been maybe just like a tiny bit cooler. Just a tiny bit. But no, in Soviet Russia, this is what we do. We show you the same game we show you at the last E3. They want blood, they will get it. We'll cross it no matter what those fanatics think. Oh, so there are actually like enemies because up until this point, I was thinking, oh, <laughs> okay, here's the wasteland and we just like walk across it holding guns and things. But no, there's actually things that we can do, things to kill. Awesome. No, I actually really do want to play this game as well. So it's difficult to snark over it, but this is my job. So this, this is what you guys subbed for. I just want to let you know that. Thank you for subbing. Thank you. We will stand firm. You got me, you damned heretics. Artyom, jump! Those very polite people in the audience clap, 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 clap. Metro had me at its gritty visuals, brutal landscapes, and its mystery of the ruins above ground. It had me because I had no other option to fall out. Ha! From grim post-apocalyptic battles. Grim. Post-apocalyptic. Things that you'd expect from a Fallout title. Ha! Huh. Whatever story they tell, whatever sound effects they use, we will work with creators to guarantee that their games look and play best on Xbox One. Of course you will. I wonder why. Because it's a Microsoft Xbox conference. Yay. Role-playing games from Inventive Studios in Japan. Our next game is the latest in a legendary series. For the first time ever on Xbox, Kingdom Hearts. Oh my. Prepare for the stream to lose their shit. It's cold. Guess he's too used to the beach. Hey, Islander, what can I say? Look. Do you want to build a snowman? Disney's going to buy it all, including the entire E3 conference. It's going to be such a fall. A walking, talking snowman. You really are alive. Hello. Father, can you hear me? No, no, never met him. Don't know anyone blue. Don't worry, I'm not gonna go full Barbara Streisand on you, but it is funny. It's like all the rides at the Disney parks, but like in a game with all these characters from all of these different series. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Are you guys excited? Type in chat, tell me how excited you are for this. Oh my gosh, wreck it, Ralph. <gasps> Look out! Couldn't even afford the original voiceover people from the movies to actually do the voices for the game because, you know, they got better things to do. This is where we are. 
is hurt people. This is my home now. I can't go back. I'm so full of angst. Oh my gosh. Look out! I mean, we could have had like Red Dead Redemption 2, but Kingdom Hearts, I guess that's cool. If you're into that sort of thing. Roxas does exist. His heart's inside my heart. The other Twilight Town is just data. So what will Elsa accept? Like yeah, I never really understood Kingdom Hearts in general because in in my heart of hearts, I know that no Squeenix character would ever touch the same pixel playground as any character from a Disney universe. It's just not gonna happen. I mean, Squeenix hair, Disney hair. I mean, it's a battle, right? It's never gonna happen. Somehow they made it happen and people bought it and kept it going, but for me, it's just, it's heresy. You're too late. Exclusive. Oh gosh, here we go. Last time on Sea of Thieves. You needn't cower in the doorway. I actually like meeting new people. Uh, besides, the conversation with my friend here has reached a bit of an impasse. I think he just needs a moment to cool off. Now, I sense that you brought me something to inspect. Show me. Oh. Show me how many people are actually playing this game because co-op. <laughs> The waves of change roll throughout the seas, and a new land is revealed. The forsaken shores. A place of darkness, where fire and ash conceal all. And from the depths, skeleton crews will rise to curse the seas. An ancient... Uh, all right, is this like a lot of Kate Blanchett for you here? Because it is for me. It's just like, and they will have a queen who reigns over them fierce as the blah, blah, blah. I mean, that's what I'm getting out of this right now. Oh! <laughs> you just wanted to know how much it was worth, didn't you? Fine, I'll give you ten for it. Ten, the number of people who are actually playing this game right now. Open world, cross-platform play. Ooh. Det synes at blandt andet deres var vakkert og forstyrrende. Der er mit som barn fortalte mig historier om skabninger og monstre. Vi ved, at nogen er der ude. Bare fortæl mig, hvem det er. And there's your teaser. Ta da That's what y'all were waiting for, wasn't it? Exclusive I know, right? World premiere. Cause that's that's literally it. <laughs> Battlefield 5, suck it, and boom, over. Over. And what? Now a four is a game? Okay. Hmm. I 
don't know about you, but I kind of would have rather seen some more Battlefield Five than some Forza or whatever. I mean, yeah. Didn't we see Forza last year as well? Maybe I'm just brain damaged or something. Maybe it was Need for Speed last year. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. It doesn't matter. It's a car game. Sorry. Sorry to those of you who like car games, but, uh, yeah. It's a car game. You drive. I drive every day in very not-so-nice traffic. So, for me, that that's already my life. Sure, I could spray paint it if I wanted to. I could customize it if I wanted to, but it costs real dollars. So I get it. For those of you who are into this thing, sure, it's your thing. But uh, for me, this is just a, a trailer. And, um, yeah. Battlefield 5! Where are you? I wanted to see more of that. I mean, if you didn't know, like, by the actual name of the conference or anything, you could just come in here and be like, man, is this the new Mario Kart? Damn. Yep, Forza. That's a game. From Playground Games, Ralph Fulton. Thank you so much. It is fantastic to be here today. I am excited to show you the world premiere of Forza Horizon 4. Uh, what? No. Where's the skip button? Where's the skip button on this ad? I want it. Give it to me. And seasons change everything. Let me introduce you to some of our team who will be helping demo the game today. Please welcome Bill, who is online with a few friends. Hey, Bill. What's up, guy? He has chosen the incredible new McLaren Senna. And say hi to Solomon, who is hanging out with his buddies on the streets. Hi, Solomon. Welcome to AA. I mean, E3. Driving the Hoonigan Ford Focus. Guys, if you play this game and you choose a freaking Ford Focus, I'm just, I'm done. I'm so done. Fun on the coastline of Britain. But first, let's join Rebecca. She is enjoying the summer in her highly customized Nissan Silvia. Nissan, a uh, sports car company, for sure. Just like my Nissan Altima that I got as my very first car. Very sporty. Totally a brand that you would go to for sport like car things. Yeah. The game will be real people with all the variety, spontaneity, and fun that real people. I would rather be one of the people in those hot air balloons up there than be one of these drivers in these cars right here. Driving at speeds made even more thrilling on Xbox One X by the brand new 60 FPS mode. Oh my gosh, guys, did you hear it? He said the words 60 FPS. What? Nearby, as you can see, Horizon 4 is still full of action packed fun. And now we're going to show you how seasons change everything. Yeah, back into our cutscene and pre recorded, pre rendered everythingness. In Horizon 4, Every season changes the world around you, with each bringing its own... Oh my gosh, guys, they're dropping leaves on the audience. Those leaves must have taken so much out of their budget. This is why we couldn't have more Battlefield 5, because we had to pay for these leaves to be cut up and dropped all over the people in the audience. It looks like Rebecca has found some like-minded friends. It's great to play solo, but it's better to play with others. Horizon 4 lets you seamlessly enter co-op from within the game world. 
There haven't been enough wrecks yet for this to be legit for me. It's like, what did he tell these guys? It's like, I will fine you X amount of Xbox dollars if you go out there and wreck anything. Ha ha. We'll experience them at the same time. Now, as much as we'd all love to sit and watch the sun go down together, let's see how this scene looks in winter. The entire open world changes beyond recognition. In winter, the lake has frozen. <sighs> in winter, things happen, you guys. Maybe you should wear your snow tires. Or if you're from good old West Virginia, we put like uh, chains on our tires to get places. But you know, it's a, it's a game with cars where you go fast, vroom, vroom. It doesn't look bad, but some of these splash across the screen things are a bit much. And while they head off to the event, I'd like to show you how the world of Forza Horizon- Why do you keep on going back to the- Ugh. Uh, just, just, just let us see the game. Quit changing things. And who keeps pulling out from the screen? Give us the screen. You're supposed to be showing us the game. We don't want to see him presenting it. We want to see the actual game. Thank you. Ugh. Who's running production behind the, the scenes here? I mean, really? Today... You've seen a completely new take on Horizon. In Forza Horizon 4, you will live in a vast, beautiful world in which dynamic seasons change everything. Forza you know, this is a real shock for people who are viewing this at E3 right now because they live mostly in Southern California where seasons don't actually exist. So I can get behind some of the excitement these guys are expressing here, but... I don't know, it's just, <laughs> it's just not for me. We know that exclusive games from our Microsoft Studios are what originally turned so many of us into Xbox fans. My team and I take our commitment to you seriously to make Xbox One the best place for you to play. And <coughs> for you to have <coughs> the best, what? The <coughs> what? Console peasantry? <laughs> Not in my E3. Existing franchises that you already love. And this is why we are amplifying our investment in new worlds that will deepen your love for gaming on Xbox. We embarked on a quest, a quest to find creative teams that have the mastery of our art form. And we found innovative game designers, master storytellers, exceptional world builders. Is this where you tell us about a decent game? Because right now it's just a lot of self-ego stroking, IMO. The initiative. Led by Daryl Gallagher, a visionary storyteller who has worked across some of the most iconic franchises for over 20 years. This new Santa Monica studio is building a team of world-class talent to create groundbreaking new game experiences. And next, I'm excited to welcome Undead Labs to Microsoft Studios. This studio caught our attention with their visionary approach to building a zombie survival franchise. They just released their second infestation. Is this more State of Decay? What, what, what? In the first two weeks, over two million of you have joined the fight to survive. Now, it's my distinct pleasure to announce that we have acquired Playground Games. Um, woo, they'll be excited to move away from Leamington Spa in the UK? Maybe? Incredible craftsmanship. Not only will Playground Games continue to work on Forza Horizon, they're bringing their open world expertise to an entirely new project. 
We can't wait to share more about that later. And for the fourth new studio, it's my personal honor to welcome Ninja Theory to my- Okay, that's actually kind of a pretty big deal. I met Nina and Tamim when we collaborated on Kung Fu Chaos back on the original Xbox. And a minute into playing Hellblade, you know you're in the hands of master storytellers. Who are I'm kind of scared about this right now because Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice was like one of my top games of last year. So it's just, I'm scared, <laughs> you guys. I'm kind of terrified what this is going to do to that studio right now. We couldn't get out of our heads. A game that captivated us with its strong, fresh, and intense storytelling. We Happy Few is, released, is, is nearing its full release to gamers everywhere. It's about time. We've been waiting for We Happy Few for a while now. More than a while. By joining us at Microsoft Studios, these five new teams will have the resources, the platform, and creative independence to make big, take bigger risks, create even bolder worlds for you. So basically they're turning into Disney and they're eating all of the corporations that you've come to know and love. And oh, I just don't even know. I don't even know guys, it's so hard in the feels right now. But you know the truth, don't you? There's not a thing I can tell you that you don't already know. That it's Shrek is attending E3. Oh, did they bleep me? Oh. Why are you all wearing those ridiculous new masks? You should get one. They shape your face into a smile. And when you smile, you can't help being happy. But I don't want to pre-order your dirty bitch. <laughs> Sorry, I don't. Stop pushing it on me. It's better not to know. Wiki, wiki, everybody. And it's another fabulous day in Wellington World. Do what you should be doing, and you never have to worry. Sally. <sighs> this is depressing. Is anyone else depressed? I feel like we need a drink. I want to play this game. The story looks amazing. I've been waiting for this for a while now, but I'm just, I'm reeling off of the news that all of those great studios are being absorbed and I just don't know what to do now. <laughs> I'm really depressed, you guys. Not until we take their joy. And when we do that, they'll murder each other in the street. Exclusive. G. Exclusive. Do I even need to say anything about this? But you can buy it now. Yay! Wow, 
wow, something is actually getting released this year. That's a thing, I guess, for a game that you can already play. But man, a new mode, a new way to play. Mwah. World premiere. You guys, animal time! Aren't you excited? I mean, I liked some of the Tales games, sure, but a remaster is not really worthy of an announcement this big, I don't feel? I don't know, did you guys like the Tales games that much to where this is like, oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind? Mm, for me, no. Yeah, I don't really know what to say over this. I mean, I played Tales of Vesperia. It was the best of the Tales games. Sure, it gets a remaster, that's nice, but I just, I don't know, I don't feel like it's like that big of news, I guess. Maybe. Maybe because I feel like it was a very my generation game and the people that are watching this conference are like my son's generation. I don't know. The most heavily protected city on earth. Within its limits, 177 foreign embassies, 550 elected officials, and 23,000 military personnel. Is it the division? In the event of an attack, critical personnel are evacuated. Underground shelters open, while complex defense systems patrol. But is it the division, though? But nothing stopped the virus. 27 days after patient zero, Washington fell. It began with riots on K Street, then shootings in the National Mall. Troops withdrew to bunkers. Civilians were left in the streets. But is it the division, though? Just tell me. Why won't you ever tell me? Their fences patrolled with rifles in communities that live under constant siege. Survival has taken the form of urban warfare. Centuries ago, on this very soil, brother fought brother spilling blood to forge the united states history is threatening to repeat itself now in the heat of summer six months after the outbreak began the oh. division trumps america oops i didn't say it agents of the division are the only ones standing against it oh okay so yay the division thank you Thank you, because like I, I was almost out of breath there from holding it for so long, trying to figure out what this game was. Because all you're doing is telling me words and not showing me gameplay. Play with like a million E's after it. Play. Eh, 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 eh. You know, I shouldn't have expected anything else. I mean, what do we expect from things like, you know, Xbox and Microsoft anyway? A bunch of cutscenes. I mean, th this is kind of what we showed up for, but last year it was a, a little bit cooler because we had, you know, a lot more hardware focus, you know, Xbox One X, like the lowest prices, like some of the best specifications, you know, for a console, which, you know, I kind of don't really care about console so much, but some of you do care about console, so that's cool and things. Oh, hey, do we have gameplay? What's going on? What's happening? Where are we? Why does this look like a Ubisoft game? What's happening? Look at this parachute. Dropped right through the ceiling. Let me see if I can get this. Oh, that'll come in handy. Why is it also cringe? So you guys are coming or what? Yeah. You guys are doing fig boip or what? 
Yeah. Merry Christmas. Ah, here's the door. Karpinski, it's the division. All right, let me just talk to this guy. Glad to see you. Let me just up the frame rate on this a little bit, because right now, like, 30, it's kind of, it's just, it's uncomfortable. Okay. I can't. Yep. Okay, sure. Wow. Okay. Definitely from the Capitol. Wow. Okay. Definitely happening at the Microsoft conference at E3. Yeah, okay, do it after the crash site? Sounds good. They're just ahead of us, Matt. Hey, I see you. I'll be up in a sec. Kit, we gotta get you leveled up. I know. Please help. I've been busy. <laughs> I've been busy doing what? Watching all the rest of these uh, E3 conferences? We've only had one so far. I mean, if you're watching, like, all those trailers previously, like we had to, then, yeah, I, I totally get it. Hey, wait for me. Oh, crap, they have a tank. Yep, I see him. Don't aggro him yet. Let me adjust my build. Got my crossbow and chem launcher. Do you ever notice how polite people are in fake VoIP? It's like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be so nice to you. I'm gonna tell you all the things that I'm doing and we're gonna do all this together. We're gonna take all this down as a team, you guys. Instead of what really happens, which is basically a bunch of 14 year olds who sound exactly like 14 year olds cursing up a storm. I know, cause I have a 15 year old and he still does it. Matt, look out. All right, let me try to get that tank off you. More bad guys on the other side of the plane. Grenade, grenade. Dude, come on. Yep, yep, yep. So cute that they think that people like would play to a strategy as well. That's adorable. Really cute. I love how that happens in real life, you know. Just start playing a game and people play by the rules and do everything just right. Ugh, aim assist! What is this junk? Garbage! Garbage. Thanks, Matt. Oh, there's a dude rushing through the plane. Guys. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. I mean, I appreciate we're getting gameplay here, so I feel like, you know, I, I can't be bashing it too hard because they are giving me sort of what I want. But this is a snarkathon, so they sort of asked for it, right? Right? Vindicate me, you guys. Make sure I don't feel too bad about this in the end. Oh crap, Matt, watch out! Setting my drone. Thank you for the revive, Meg. No one would, would revive in that situation. No, it wouldn't happen. You dead. You screwed up. Bye. In the real world, you would not get a respawn. You would not get revived. No. Alright, flare is up. Control point is ours. Nice. You guys wanna check out the plane? Let's go. Like this ratio also happens when you play, you know, with other people, by the way. That many chicks, that many dudes. Yeah. That happens a lot, doesn't it? Jesus. Whoa, that's nuts. Let's check it out. Great idea, let's just die. <laughs> Great idea, let's just die. Um... Are you also watching the conference? Is that what's happening? And here we go, into glorious tighter box. Well, now I wonder what Ubisoft's actually going to show at their conference, because if it's just that, well, uh, I guess we can look forward to a lot more fake VO. 
and uh, a lot of really constructed scripted gameplay. That'd be fun. Or not. This is a special time for gamers. We've never had so many incredible games to play. Storied franchises, uncharted worlds, new releases, and cult classics. Genres we love, and genres we'd love to explore. There's only one problem. That you make us pay for a game pass in order to play all of these things with other people. Hmm. What if you didn't have to choose? What if you could play them all? The answer, Xbox Game Pass. A way to give gamers the ultimate freedom to play. And your response has blown us away. Not only are you playing more games, you are spending more time gaming. Freedom of choice is leading to more discovery, more play, and more fun. Freedom of discovery. I'm sorry. Uh, how many games do I have left unplayed in my Steam library right here? Because I know I'm not the only one. I think we're pretty spoiled for choice. We don't need discovery. Machine learning expertise we have at Microsoft and invented a way to start your games twice as fast. And naturally, we're calling it Fast Start. Unlike the current ready to start system, which is manually configured, Fast Start uses machine learning techniques based oh, on... Oh, yeah, baby. Tell me more about machine learning. This is totally what I showed up to the conference for. ...as the algorithms and parameters are refined over time. I'm pleased to announce that Fast Start will launch for select titles in the June update coming later this month. We don't even know what we're clapping and cheering for, but... Yeah. Woo. Ultimately, it all comes down to the games. We'll continue to deliver iconic favorites like Halo the Master Chief Collection coming Woo. later this year. That one guy. Woo! I spent all the money on all those we Halo games. Woo! All new exclusive games from Microsoft Studios, including Forza Horizon 4, Crackdown 3, and more into the Xbox Game Pass catalog on the same day as their global release. Oh, did your teleprompter break? Was, was that what happened there? Well, did you stumble on those words? Every month, we'll also bring new games from leading creative studios into your Xbox Game Pass library. Games like Ashen, Warhammer Vermintide 2, After Party, and Phoenix Point all available in Xbox Game Pass the same day as their global release. Wow, so you can play the game the day that it's released? If only other consoles and so platforms would do nice. that. I mean, who, no one does that, right? Right, guys? Nobody. Nobody! Tom Clancy's The Division. The Elder Scrolls Online Tamriel Unlimited. And Fallout 4. Fallout 4, the game no one wanted but waited so many years to receive. In gorgeous 4K. Oh, don't even go there with the 4K, lady. I'm about to lose it. How many people have a 4K display so we can play 4K games every day? Around the world with Xbox Game Pass. Thanks, everyone. Your 4K at 30 FPS is just as shit as it was last year. Doesn't matter how many times they show us these ads. It's just, you're, ugh, I can't even. I just can't. I was just I was thinking with this conference because you know we had so much of the hardware focusing last year we would get you know I mean we did actually get a lot of software a lot of games yeah great sure that was expected whatevs but I was also thinking maybe we'd hear a little bit more about hardware there was like a rumored VR headset I mean it was unlikely we were going to hear about it but I thought maybe they might go with it 
I was thinking that also we might hear a little bit about more backwards compatibility or the HoloLens demo. There's just, <laughs> I don't know, there's a lot of things. The second generation version of the Elite controller to go with the new accessibility focused Xbox adaptive controller. All of these things, there are so many things. Other franchises, Fable, Perfect Dark, Crimson Skies, Viva Pinata! But no, no you guys, 4K, Game Pass, pay us your subscription money. Uh. Lots of trailers. I thought I knew why I came here. <laughs> I, I thought I knew why we came here. You get it, guys? You get it? But now the truth feels further away than ever. I still have so many questions. Another year, another Tomb Raider. You had me for a reason, but I we can't let Trinity get hold of this. Let's think this through. Do you realize the tragedy you have unleashed? The cleansing has begun. It falls to me now to stop it before it consumes us all. What have I done? This is supposed to be a September 14th, 2018 release, and supposedly the cinematic or climactic finale and the end of the beginning of Lara's origin story, for those of you who don't play Tomb Raider games. Me. We have to trust each other. We need to trust that we'd rather see more Deus Ex than Tomb Raider. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying what you guys are thinking. That's all. to alter the course of humanity if you had that power what would you do exclusive Oh my god, you guys, skate! Here we were yesterday, all day yesterday, thinking, where the F is skate? I know you guys weren't thinking it, but I was. I, I know, I'm stupid. Like, I don't play any of those sports ball games, except, well, I played FIFA once upon a time. Don't tell anybody. Seriously, do not tell anybody, anyone. But yeah, yeah, all these other sports games, la 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 la, no, 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 car games, meh, meh, whatever. I drive in real life, and my real life driving is just as dangerous. <laughs> You've never seen me on the road. But skate, skate! This is what the kids want! Stop! Pulling out to show us the stage. We do not want to see the stage.
Exclusive. Wow, is that it? Huh. They say you only live once. I beg to differ. I was born three times, and I've met death three times. My first home was Altanova. The curiosity I gained there cost me my first life. I awoke again in Tarif, village of the sorcerers. I once thought that this would be my true home. Everything changed when I started to ask the forbidden questions. What exactly is the true nature of the Black Stone? What lies beneath the vast desert? Who was it that was calling me from the depths beyond the desert? The world never paid heed to such questions. They just fought on, blinded, and hungered for more and more of the power. It is time that I, at long last, reveal the hidden secrets once and for all. I know, I know I'm being quiet, guys. I'm just actually trying to figure out what this is. Is this a Fable game? Is this a Witcher game? Is this a Dragon Age game? What is this? I shouldn't be this lost. Come to me if you dare to learn your true wretched self. Behold, I am Elezra. The darkness born from the desert. Oh, of course, it's Pearl Abyss, so this would be Black Desert. Okay, yeah, I'm dumb. I know things about video games, promise! World Premiere We've known each other a long time. You never had XCOM? XCOM? Capcom! Let us pray for mercy. This is a trial from the heavens above. Hey, honey. Need assistance? Hey! You have to hit every single bump in the road? <laughs> Oh my crew. So Dante returns. Hmm? 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 Cheer up, crew cut. You taking notes? He's a real pro at smacking demons around. That's why I built him that well-functioning arm. <laughs> oh, Nero! Why? What? No chit-chat or monologue? Just getting right. I, I just, I just wanted Dante. Why? Why? What? But, but, uh, Nero. My really badass work is worth what is it with the robo arm? When are we gonna be over this? It, the game does look pretty cool though. <laughs> Devil May Cry games for me are like Bayonetta for girls, kind of. It's like, this is our eye candy, but nobody wants Nero. Everyone just wants true Dante. Bad boy Dante. No more of this prosthetic arm business. I mean, can we be over this now? Can this, can this Please end go. now? Capcom. Producer Matt Walker and director Hideaki Itsuno. As director, I've waited four years for this. 
Yeah, we wait for years for this too. Except no Nero. Okay? English English is hard. Math, you do it. <laughs> He's funny. I like him. He's adorable. Since Devil May Cry 4 was released, and fans have been asking for a true sequel ever since. So this is our response, loud and clear, that we hear you. Devil May Cry and Hideaki Itsuno are back. Woo, but we won Dante. <laughs> Sorry, it's not going to stop. I know you're tired of hearing it. We set our sights on creating something that was going to have world-class visuals. So we've scanned fully costumed models for all of our main characters, and with the power of Xbox One X, we're able to render them as realistically as possible. Now, while visuals are really important, the controls need to remain tight and responsive as well. So we've gathered the best minds at Capcom to ensure that we can still deliver that amazing gameplay that Devil May Cry is known for. And we think that we've made something that feels better than any action game we've ever created. Hold on, hold on. Oh, snap. He told you to hold on. Itsuto-san says that he is convinced that this is the best game that he's ever made because we made it for you, our fans. And we hope you look forward to seeing more. Have a great E3! Exclusive. Oh, here we go with some Cuphead. Y'all ready for it? You brought your jazz shoes, did ya? I mean, I'm not going to say it's a dead game, but mm, it's been a while. Exclusive. What is this? It's a fox? Is it like night in the woods, but like a, a 3D option? What's happening here? Oh, this would be tunic. It is kind of cute. You have to admit, it, it is kind of cute. So that's why it looked like Zelda, because it's inspired by Zelda, but yeah. Tunic! That tiny fox in a big world is a prime example of the reach of gaming today. A labor of love conceived and created by a single developer in Halifax, Nova Scotia, is today commanding gaming's largest stage. Whether you're sharing the adventure of a tiny fox with more than 20 million viewers on Mixer, or teaming up with Xbox Live friends to slay people zombies, put things on Mixer. Really? That's a platform. We've always for real? That building community is vital for gaming. There's real power in our shared experience. But not in my wardrobe because this jacket ain't even denim. The same campaign. And there's real meaning in sharing our love of gaming with fellow gamers. 
This community is the reason why we love premiering games here at E3. For the rest of our briefing, everything you show you will be world premiere games no one has seen before. Go on. With something entirely new from our friends at Bandai Namco. On my last trip to Japan, their creative team showed me a sneak peek at their next game. Now, you get to see the first look. World that one guy. Guttural scream. There are worlds that exist separate from our own. Where the impossible is reality. They consist of both good and evil. These worlds were never meant to meet. But things have changed. So which anime franchise is this? Is, are we Narutoing this? What are we doing? Oh yeah, there he is. This is what we're doing, this is a thing. Oh, so it's a mashup? Some Naruto, some Dragon Ball. So, Super Weeb Fest 2018. Yes? No? Maybe? In the chat if you guys actually like crossover games because I'm not the biggest fan of crossover games. I don't know why. It's just never been my thing. Like watching TV growing up as a kid and everything, you know, it would be such a big deal to see like, oh my gosh, this character from this show is like on this other show in a weird crossover thing. Oh my gosh, this can't possibly happen. Wow. But for it to be like an entire game, you know, something that you're going to put a lot of time into, for some reason, that just never sat right with me. And I don't know, I don't know why. Maybe I'm raining on everybody's parade. Maybe they really want something like the Animu game crossover. But for me, it's just not my thing. I'm sorry. We burrow in it. Fighting for every useful piece of land to preserve ourselves from the terrors of the night and the horrors of the day. Therefore, speak a word unto here. Anyone who dares to steal food will be hanged, and their bodies will be exposed. Every day we rise from dust to choose between bad. Is this more dying light here? What's happening? This looks like dying light anyway. These choices we take to survive will create the world to come. You know the drill. Get to the nearest safe house and wait until dawn. Good night and good luck. Aha! Called it! I know things about video games. Promise. Please welcome narrative designer Chris Avalon. I, I can't crap on him. I can't. I can't do it, guys. I love him too much. Hi, I'm Chris Avalon, and I'm excited to be working with Techland to create the world of Dying Light 2. I want him to create anything at all. Anything. He can create an Amazon box, and I would buy it. Please. tactical first-person melee combat. And of course, terrifying nights when the infected emerge from the depths of the city to feed on anyone they can find. At the same time, we invite you to a new vision of the post-apocalypse, 
a bleak and unforgiving reality that we call the modern dark ages. For people who don't realize who Chris Avalon is, you know, Fallout 2, Planescape Torment, Icewind Dale, Baldur's Gate, I mean, uh, Neverwinter Nights, Pillars of Eternity, I know that's more recent, but uh, I could go on. I'm just saying, uh, Planescape Torment is enough for me to worship this man for the rest of his natural born life. So I don't care what he touches, it's just, just touch it, I will buy it, just to do the thing that you do. Do it. Dying Light 2 features a functioning ecosystem that reacts on multiple levels to the things you do and the choices you make. In the example we are about to show you, our protagonist undertakes a mission for the Peacekeepers, one of the many factions active in the city. They want you to negotiate with two survivors who are controlling and hoarding a water supply. Are you going to insult this with another final offer? Let's say you choose to carry out the Peacekeepers' orders one way or another. After this, you will start seeing a significant change in the city as access to the water supply allowed the peacekeepers to bring stability and develop the area. There's even running water for the people at street level, and that raises their morale and allows you to replenish your energy on the go. But there's a cost to this. The PKs have a rigid approach to law and order. So while the streets may be safer, it's only safer for those who side with them. So if you get on their bad side. Now let's return to that moment of choice. And instead of killing them, you choose to team up with this group to supply water on the black market. As you will see, this creates a very different set of consequences for the city. With water being a precious currency, it brings you access to new resources and trade. But this, in turn, attracts the worst type of people to the area. And this is just a single decision, one out of hundreds you will have to make. But it allows you to carve out your own world. Each player's game experience will be unique. I didn't see any zombies. Um, J did you guys see the zombies? Cause I think I, I think I missed missed the zombies. Exclusive world premiere. A lot of time has passed. Ooh, comic book font. Complacent. Comic book balloons. Always knew this day would come. Comic book writing font again. again. You always. Wait. They're kind of killing me with like the Green Lantern green there with the three. I'm scared. Hold me. Oh my gosh! What? What? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. What? Body morphing genre mashups, three player couch co op, 4K hand drawn 2.5D graphics, and broad non specific feature declarations. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> I have no words. No words right now. Oh man. Hey, where's the gameplay? Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> but what? I don't think anyone was expecting that. I sh I sure wasn't. I was not expecting that at all. There was no fear. No failure. They might have like just won the conference just based on that. Freaking battle toads. And no one was ready for it. Just cause? They are the world's most powerful private army. 
But even they should fear what they've created. This isn't a war, Rico. This is survival. Show us the wingsuit! Do it! Do it now! Getting shot at? All the time. We already got all the screenshots linked online, so show it to us. Do it. The amount of crunch time that these guys are going to be under duress to get all this stuff done is crazy. Tiny gears? <laughs> gears what uh -oh. what what wait what 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 just chibi gears that's a thing why we don't want that no one wants it nobody asked for that Thirteen years ago, when I began my Gears of War journey, we had no idea how big this franchise would become. And, that's <laughs> and now you made it really small. Places ...and different ways to reach even more fans. And that's why today we're announcing Gears Pop, a collaboration with our friends at Funko to bring a unique mobile spin to the world of Gears. And mobile is not the only new place we're going. I'm excited to also announce the true Gears of War PC experience in a completely different genre, Gears Tactics. You create a whole new squad 12 years before Gears of War 1 as they hunt a locust monster maker responsible for destroying whole cities. It's our take on the classic turn-based strategy genre with a character-driven story, faster, more aggressive gameplay, a customizable squad and equipment, and of course, it wouldn't be a Gears game. Bye, console. <laughs> Welcome to the Xbox conference. But not, not really, not really, you guys. Sharing more about tactics with you soon. We'd share more, but our FPS is so low that we just didn't feel it would be sensible, responsible. Working hard to bring you our most ambitious Gears Award title yet, Gears 5. Yes! I, I was about to I was about to go in defib there, you guys. Seriously. I was like, if all we're getting is this chibi gears thing, no across the biggest and most beautiful world we've ever created with the war for humanity escalates on two fronts outside the capital city and within Kate herself in this moment from the game Kate leads a rescue message to a remote village but something goes horribly wrong Kate, you can't see this. You don't want to see this. But my grandmother's necklace. <laughs> but Marcus, you've seen the hive mind of the swarm. You know their plans and what's to come. Kate? No, I'm just so heartbroken. But at least we're getting a new trilogy out of this. Thanks for coming here. Of course. OK. 
Can I recommend we maybe get these people out of here? Hey, just slow down. No, Foz is right. We need to move. What are you talking? He's dead, man. Give her a minute. She'll get her a minute in the Raven. What the hell is wrong with you? Del, we need to leave. I'm not going. Excuse me? For months now, I've been having these dreams. Nightmares. Kill off Marcus. Kill off you. Marcus. You know you want to. Do it, do it, do it. Something's happening to me. It's your grandmother's? Enough. We'll, we'll deal with this later. Foss around the Anyone in, anybody gonna take bets on this? Marcus Phoenix, gotta die. It's gotta happen. I think we can find you answers there. No, no. <clears throat> Absolutely not. We have orders. You'll go with me. God damn it, both of you, listen. I'll go with her. Look, if you're missing, Jen will notice. Okay. I'll push Jack the coordinates. No, Corporal, you're coming back to Nuafira. That is a direct order. Well, Captain, screw your order. Ooh, naughty words. Screw. <laughs> Watch her. A necklace? That's a locust symbol. Yes, yeah, so? She would never be our enemy by choice. I know yeah, that. Because she would die for us. I know that. Maybe it's a key of some sort. I could speed this up a little bit because for me it's like Gears of War 4 was pretty good but it was just really samey for me and since Coalition have taken over the development from Epic just kind of want to see them do some new stuff history of E3 in the hmm. entire history of our industry in the entire history of dead space <laughs> am i right kids am i right our commitment to giving you the freedom to discover and play all of the great new games coming to Xbox Game Pass today we showcased more games than we ever have before oh here's the ego stroking part you guys are you ready for it exclusivity and 15 world premieres. We give you all of these premieres. Ah, uh, it's amazing. We're the best. Uh. Every measure, from breadth and art style, genre and cultures, range and subject and setting, scale and story and scope and creative vision. And every one of these plays best on Xbox. Of course it does. And you're only going to make us pay how much? Oh, please tell us. Please allow us the privilege to pay for this so-called Game Pass. It's going to allow us to discover all our hopes and dreams on your beloved console. We are constantly challenging ourselves. Where can we take gaming next? Our answer? We commit. And to buying more studios. We will buy all of the studios and we will tear down franchises and make them our own. 
and Microsoft Research are developing the future of gaming AI. So the worlds and characters we enjoy will be even more rich and more immersive. Our cloud engineers are building a game streaming network to unlock console quality gaming on any device. Console quality. That's a, that's a, <laughs> that's a term? Is that an industry term? Console quality. Man, I can't wait to watch some console quality streams. It's going to be lit, you guys. Lit. Unprecedented performance with Xbox One X is deep into architecting the next Xbox consoles, where we will once again deliver on our commitment to set the benchmark for console gaming. Where we will once again take all of your money because we can. To building an industry leading first party studios organization. And as you saw earlier, we are making one of our greatest single year investments in teams by adding five new creative studios. We have committed our team, our company, our technical resources, so we can declare to you today and next year and all of the years after that, you will always experience the best in gaming on Xbox. <laughs> is it done? Is it done? Are they done with the ego stroking portion? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Together. Thanks, and have a great Easter. Yeah, like that was a total accident. We bet. Skynet? What what? Is this our remake of uh of what's it? You know what I'm thinking of. In 2077, they voted my city the worst place to live in America. Main issues? Sky high rate of violence and more people living below the poverty line than anywhere else. Oh, yes. Can't deny it, it's all true. But everybody still wants to live here. The city's always got a promise for you. Might be a lie, an illusion. But it's there, just around the corner. And it keeps you going. Cyberpunk 2077, uh. It's a city of dreams, and I'm a big dreamer. I mean, like this plus Battletoads. I'm just like, mm, you know, as much as I kind of hate how they are with the whole, hey, we're buying up all the stuff and, you know, all of these exclusives and Game Pass and everything, you kind of got to give it to them just a little bit just, just smidge that they're showing some of the good stuff not the stuff that they're kind of responsibly directly for but you know they're still sort of giving us a little taste of what we want notice how it comes sort of in the middle and right at the end when they're like man we don't want them to remember just all the crap we shoved down their throats in the middle you know am i the only person who feels this way
Oh, and here's our ending montage. Who likes a montage? Everybody likes a montage at E3. That gears pop, though. <laughs> what? I think all of us were about to riot. Yeah, g uh, games play best on X what? Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. You can't make me. I'm not gonna say it. Not next to this pimped up rig. I can't say it. And I'm not gonna. Yeah, okay, so that was that. Uh, I'm gonna cut off their music because it's kind of meh. So, uh, friends, <laughs> thanks for enduring that with me. That was a, a very interesting show that we just watched. Um, I wish I could tell you entirely how I feel about it, but, you know, the stream... Oh, actually, it is rated for like mature content yay okay that was shit no um so what i got from that was hey everything is plays better on our console that we're not going to try to sell you but we're secretly trying to sell you um hashtag use our uh game pass thing so you can discover all the games that you already know are coming out anyway because otherwise why would you be watching this channel in the first place um, we are going to do some more Kingdom Hearts stuff so we can all be pretty, pretty princesses and add Frozen characters because we're going to make lots and lots of money, all that Disney cash, and just like Disney, we're going to go and buy everyone up. All the games that you loved, oh, hey, you like that studio? I like that studio. Uh, we're going to buy you. Mm. Just buy all of you up. All of you. All of you. You. Come here. Come here. Yeah, you. Mm. Over here. Ours. Ours now. Our property. Gosh. Um... And then we're going to Ego Stroke, and then we're going to show you a game that you've maybe been waiting a long time for because you think it's Gears, and then it's not Gears, and then, then it is actually Gears, but then you don't show us any actual gameplay of Gears, so <sighs> yeah, that, that's kind of how that went. I mean, sure, I guess it's maybe a bit better than the EA conference, but that doesn't take much the bar was not set very high but yeah we, we did get to see a lot of games so I, I i don't i don't know i don't know i don't know what about this I, uh, no i just uh, i just the mere jag that happens at these industry conventions are the reason why we stopped going to these industry conventions so i just I can't explain to you, as someone who is a PC gamer, how amazing this conference has been so far. When all games play best on our Xbox toaster oven. But, that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed whatever it is that I'm feeding to you right now. Because, I seriously, I don't, e I don't even know what I'm doing now. Um, yeah, so, E3, it's, it's, it's a thing. And that, 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 that was a conference. That was a thing that happened. So we have coming up the Bethesda conference, I believe, which should be, I want to say it happens at like 930 Eastern time, which should be really fun for me. Um, and I don't know, maybe we can all like come together and sing Kumbaya and talk about PC games for a while because this was a lot of industry exclusives and i promise i won't sing john denver ever again on stream anyway i'm lying thank you guys so much for watching please go and play a video game that means something to you hold your children give them plenty of hugs and kisses because right now i, I feel like i just got effed without being taken out to dinner first that's not a good feeling see you guys later 
Come back, 9.30 Eastern Time. Me, here, E3 Snarkathon, Bethesda Conference. I will put it on Twitter, but the schedule is right below on the Twitch page. I put all of the conferences there. So yeah, I've said bye like three times. I don't know what you guys are still doing here. All right, see you guys later. Bye.